and then many of them will go and start in a minute. Hey, ah, baby, baby, who wanna be a baby, me, boo, is a baby. And then many of them will go and start in a minute. Hey, baby, who be in my now, can you tell it? Who think it's not, I don't check it. The warrior king, the black star, the Republic of Ghana. Remember, you have the supreme authority to control all your affairs. This is what Kwame Krumah fought for. Remember Wachi, everyone, and in case you don't know what that means, that's like a good morning in Chui. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is my first day in Ghana and so far this has been the things that i have noticed about ghana let me just put this out here ghana welcomed me in the most friendly way and that stays in my heart got in here i've settled like midnight yesterday or it's midnight today i don't know just help me fix that number one ghanians are very very friendly how do i know this at the airport when we were checking in like the officers they want to know how you're doing they're very chatty so chatty they want to know how you're doing where you're from how was your flight everybody we met was willing to help was willing to take us to somewhere now the immigration officer we met when we told him we were Cameroonians he was like oh he has a Cameroonian friend he can call the friend who lives eight minutes a was it like an eight minutes away or something like that that you call his friend to come say hi to us and we are like no your friend it's night your friend should be tired we are also tired but thank you so much for wanting to make us for wanting to make us feel at home you know stuff like that so everybody was so welcoming the people at the custom people at the custom the guys at the custom they were cute and friendly and like that was just me experiencing like a hug from ghana and i was like yay i'm going to have like a great stay another thing that i mentioned in my previous video the video where i was at the airport in abidjan i was talking about my expectations based on the things i have read and seen about ghana i shared that like a video or two ago i don't know which i'm going to put first but just know that this, this is a ghana series and it's going to be a great one so in that video i shared that my little sister Sister did fashion school here in Ghana and when she got here she told us oh Ghana is super hot when you get in just be prepared for the heat you know stuff like that so when I was coming to Ghana I was coming prepared to you know have like heat like the Douala if you're from Cameroon you know how hot Douala is so I was expecting that kind of feeling even though my little sister said Ghana is like hotter than Douala so I was expecting similar but when we got here it was quite chilly the reason is because it's August by the way and it's the rainy season we're told that this season Ghana is not as hot as the other seasons the people that spoke with us said that this is a nice season to visit Ghana because the weather is just you know calm and you're not in an oven all of that so yes thank god we came to ghana in the season where when it's just you know chill and cool and that's the second thing i have noticed about ghana we got in yesterday and my other sister's friend is hosting us she hosts us for a couple of days before we go to our guest house so we're super grateful for her help today we want to visit a beach i don't know which beach we're going to visit this is what i am wearing like it's just a kaba outfit in cameroon any outfit which doesn't fit you and which is ankara we call it kaba so i'm wearing like a mini kaba and yeah that's what i'm taking to the beach today so we're going to have like a my first day experience in ghana where i'm going to just share the places i go to and then just show you how the town looks like we came at night so i didn't really see what the town looks like i was so tired we were traveling for like the whole day we had this long transit with the Cote d'Ivoire airways at abidjan yep so Ooh, you're going to have all the gist about my flights in a video I'm going to put like before this one. Maybe if I put it up, I'm going to link it somewhere. I don't know, is it the right or the left? I'm going to link it there. Let me put this out here. This is going to be a series. So everything I experience, I'm going to share with you all. And um, yes, and now there's this saying, am I talking too much? Am I talking too much? 
you know what let me just say what i want to say when we are out okay so that I'm not sitting on one spot i'm sure you too want to experience ghana through my eyes so let us go on day one we wanted to experience like the beach in ghana before leaving cameroon i had a couple of beaches in mind to visit like the labadi beach and the laboma beach but somehow when we got here we got another recommendation so this is where we stopped at the sandbox so this is not the vibe we were going for but it turned out to be a good time now while we were there it started to rain and the sandbox has no shade so i started wondering if this was the best time to come to ghana another thing is that there was no music in this place but people had headphones on and there was a dj with the headphones so i got to one of the waitresses to ask her why there was no music but everybody had headphones and she told me they were not playing music because of the homo war festival let me explain what the homo war festival is the first day i came to ghana i went to this bar and there was no music so people were putting headphones on and playing music and they told me that they don't play music until a certain time because of a festival called Omowo Festival. So what is the Omowo Festival? Yeah. Omowo is people who came from Israel. Yeah, yeah. From the 12th tribe of uh, Judah. We are one of them. Then we pass through uh, Ethiopia. Through Nigeria. Yeah. It's called Ilefi. Ilefi. Then when they read Ghana, they, uh, because they are feeling hungry. Then when the uh, the time they came, about when about year, when you come, uh, they reach at Ghana. They, they remember that they are feeling hungry. Uh, that time they didn't get anything to eat. That's why they call home home on me. You are feeling angry. angry. Oh home on me, I'm feeling hungry. Yeah. yeah. That, then oh, yeah. they say one warm boy. Because they get more food. One warm boy. One warm boy. Yeah, that's what call home walk. Because we get many food. That's our fetish priests and all the uh, uh, this thing. Priests are making fast weather mm -hmm. that's why we call we didn't drum we didn't um, take any music because they are making their brain so for, push, for, for food to, to come, come. Mm -hmm. okay so omowo is a festival it's a fasting festival preparing for yeah, the food, food yeah. that is coming yeah, yeah, yeah. So the entire period of Omowo, there's no music being played in the gang side of Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The gang. Every tribe get their own Omowo festival. festival. Different festival in Ghana. So I hope that that helps you to understand what Omowo is. It's just a period of fasting, preparing for food. In remembrance of the suffering they went through when they came from Israel. So yeah, that's the explanation. Thank you very much, Daddy. Hey, family. What is up? So we just left from the beach house, which isn't what we expected when we wanted to go like to the beach. We wanted a more open space. We had some options like the La Boma beach and some other things, but it's not what we expected. We were trying to go back to where we came from. My boat's working, my boat is not working. So we're trying to get to the road and then we are going to find a means to get to where we came from. But before then, we want to find a place to eat. Yeah, a place that is more affordable. That place, I was seeing food there, 1,300 Ghana cities. I'm like, no, I'm not going to finish my CFA on this food. So we want to find a place to eat and then we'll get back to you. No way, my slippers just cut. Like, where in Ghana can I see? With the sleeper situation going on, I didn't know what to do. So I stopped this guy who was riding a bike to ask him where I could find a shoe mender in Accra at that time. He was the kindest person. He said I couldn't find a shoe mender at that time, but he could rush to a nearby store, get me super glue and fix the shoe. He told me the super glue was like three CDs. I gave him the money. He rode to a nearby store, came back with super glue. But then I decided not to use super glue to fix the shoe because... <laughs> This is the only open to slippers I came to Ghana. So with. I was like, you know what? I'll find a real shoe mender and he's going to do the work. So that is how we separated and we got I back home. I love housing in Ghana. When I talk about housing, I'm talking about the way houses are being constructed. Like it's minimalistic, it's beautiful, and 
I just love it. From the area we are from, most of the houses look like this. And I think it's cool. So one of the things we did to settle into Ghana was one, we went to the Accra Mall to get some groceries and some detergents for the apartment. The only reason I am buying this is because I saw Jackie Appiah's face on it. I'm like, this is nice. I think Jackie Appiah is super pretty. I love her eyes. I love her smile. So whatever product she is on, I'm like, what? At the mall, we visited ShopRite, buy all of these things, and at the end of it, I tried me some Ghanaian jollof. This is not the day I fell in love with Ghana jollof because I'll tell you in the subsequent videos, I have eaten, I have abused Ghana jollof. Like everywhere I go to, I want to eat Ghana jollof. Now this is like four days after we've been up and down the city of Accra. I'm going to share those videos with you. I finally heard a cock 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 cock, and I'm like shoe menda. So I finally found a shoe menda, and he fixed my shoe. I'm going to wear this until they will know me in Ghana as that girl with those slippers. Yes. Ghana does not have money. Hey. The rain. I'll, I'll go. Hi guys. Uh, I finally succeeded to fix my slippers. I'm I'm super excited about that. We are going today to Akusombo Dam, and it's like two hours drive from where I am. So I want to just get some videos into my phone so that I edit while I'm on my way. Another way I settled into Ghana was to get myself a Ghana SIM. I got a Vodafone SIM with mobile money so that I could do some transactions. And this happened like much later, like two weeks into my stay because I didn't really need the SIM at the apartment because we had Wi-Fi. So with all of these things put in place, I feel like I'm ready this time around for a deep Ghana experience. And I cannot wait to Make share sure to that like, with you Make sure to like, subscribe, all. leave me a comment down below and I'll see you all in the next video.